what's going on everybody and welcome to the channel today we are checking out the Eqin E511 it is a foldable one key to take off and land 1080p Wi-Fi FPV 17 minute flight time RC quadcopter ready to fly so let's open up the box and check it out all right here we go with the quadcopter looking really nice folded up and I have to say this is one good looking quadcopter indeed so looking on the top of the quadcopter we have some led light indicators and a push button on and off switch and in the front we got some led lights looking like eyes and the 1080p wi-fi fpv camera tilt adjustable manually down to about almost 90 degrees and straight up horizon and on the bottom we have a built-in dvr in which i've already inserted a 32 gigabyte micro sd card so we are able to record photos and videos directly into the micro sd card as well as the wi-fi phone app and the phone app is called the eqin fpv app a free downloadable app in the app store so go ahead and check it out and looks like we're supposed to have an optical flow sensor but this one does not have one and the wi-fi antenna is on the bottom and in the rear we have the battery bay and another led light right above the battery bay so let's go ahead and check out the battery here it is a 7.4 volt 1200 milliamp size battery supposed to be good for about 17 minutes of flight time and you charge it up via a two cell connector here and we are provided with the usb to two cell connector cable and it lights up a uh, red light indicator will tell you that there is power source going in and a green light blinking will indicate the battery is charging and once the battery is fully charged the green light will go solid all right so let's go ahead and open up the quadcopter and it should be a huge quadcopter once you open it up as well these foldable quadcopters are very nice and big in size look at that it is one nice looking quadcopter guys really really nice and you got these fold out landing legs on each of the motor pods here so you just flip it out click it into place just like that click it oops and you are good to go and it will stick that landing and we also have a little kind of a rubber tip on each of the landing legs as well all right so let's check out what else we get in the box here we got some push in type prop guards and if you are a beginner do use these prop guards it will help you save the props and in turn help you save the motors all right and we got a bag of goodies here we got uh, two props and a screwdriver and looks like we got a bunch of screws as well and this one came with two additional batteries so you can get a version that comes with three batteries or you can get the version that comes with two batteries or just one battery and this one here is a 1080p fpv camera version you can also get it in the 720p camera version as well all right so let's take a look and oh forgot we also get the instruction booklet as well and let's take a look at the remote control we've seen this type of remote control before the antennas are not functional antennas but it does look nice once you fold it out and there's some shoulder buttons on the left uh, the one in the rear is the headless mode one key return short press it is the headless mode and long pressing it is the one key return the one on the top does not have any designated function and on the right the one on the rear is the flip button if you short press it and if you long press it it is an emergency stop so be careful with this one don't long press it to do flips the one on the top is the speed changing button and we do have speeds one two and three there's a power sliding switch here some led light indicators and some trim buttons here and trim button here and this one here is the one key to take off this one is the one key to land and these two are trim buttons as well now you can pull the bottom of the remote control there's a little section where you pull it out and this is the phone clip and it will hold my iphone 6 plus without a case now if you are not going to use a phone it serves as a nice little hand grip 
for you extra fingers there. Now it takes four AAA size batteries to power this thing up and bolt sticks to the bottom and to the right will calibrate the gyros and bolt sticks to the bottom and out will arm and disarm the motors. All right, so this thing has a Wi-Fi distance of about 100 meters and a control distance of about 200 meters. All right, so let's go and check it out and see how it performs. All right, let's get started with the demo flight of the e Ching E511. It is looking really, really nice. It's a good looking quadcopter. So I don't have the battery inserted yet. So let's go ahead and push in the battery all the way in and it clicks into place. So let's go ahead and power it up. Hold down the push button on and off switch and there's some blue LEDs on the top and we got red LEDs in the rear and clear LEDs looking like eyes in the front. So let's go ahead and power up the remote control. Up and down on the throttle, finalize the binding process and both sticks to the bottom and to the right will calibrate the gyros of the quadcopter. Both sticks to the bottom and out, arms and disarms the motor. So we are ready to go. So let's go ahead and start up the phone app and I'm going to be using my iPad. So let's go into the settings and go into the Wi-Fi section of your settings and I'm already connected to the Wi-Fi 1080p Wi-Fi network and Here's a take a look at the app itself. It is called the Eqin FPV app. Free downloadable app. Let's get it started. And I'm gonna just go directly into hitting the play and we got Wi-Fi FPV. Let me screen record. Two, one. And screen is recording. So let's go and check it out here. Oh yeah, looking very nice. Nice wide angle lens. 120 degrees I believe it is and the quality of the video looks pretty nice too so let's go ahead and check it out here I'm gonna hit the camera icon and it took a picture and let's see we got the photo icon the album the speed altitude hold gyro on and off switch for the virtual sticks and we got more features over here on the settings icon all right so let's make our rounds taking photos yeah very nice looking camera and oh look no solar eclipse and very nice yeah looks like the camera quality is really good wide angle lens captures everything all right, so let's go ahead and put it back on the table and hit that video icon and a yellow counter starts up and we are taking a video. So let's go ahead and leave the iPad on the table. We'll come back to that for some FPV. All right, so we got a one key to take off and one key to land button. So let's see if it works by itself without arming the motor first. And yes, it does. And check it out. It's got a rear and right drift so i'm going to go ahead and do some trimming my table might have been slightly off and a couple of forward hits on the forward trim and one more hit on the forward trim one more one more to the right and looks like it is hovering pretty decent there's not much wind right now, so maybe the table is a little crooked there. Let me go to the right one more time, and there you go. Oh yeah, it does a nice little yaw spin, almost stationary yaw spin. Check it out. Very nice. Once you got it leveled out, it should maintain a nice little yaw spin. Alright, so there you go. Speed number one. Oh, wow, we are in speed number one. Let me double check on the speed here. Yeah, yeah, we are in speed number one. It's got a very super fast yaw in speed number one. Not super fast, but fast enough. Look at that. Okay, and here's the 
full on pitch forward in speed number one. Oh, very nice. Nice and smooth. Oh yeah, really nice speed. Let me go to speed number two. And looks like we've got a little bit more pitch action and a little bit more speed. And you are able to control it with just a small input of the sticks to make nice long turns. Oh yeah, it looks really nice. Flies really smooth, look at that. Enough power. This is a nice flyer. Wow, nice and smooth. All right, speed number three. Oh yeah, it's got deeper pitch now. That's a full pitch. Making that turn. Oh, this is one sweet flyer, guys. Oh yeah. You can make smooth turns and you can make fast turns too. Wow, look at that. Yeah, very nice. It digs into the ground a little bit in speed number three, but wow. I'm liking this quadcopter already. All right, so let's check out the one key to land. Hitting the one key to land and you are able to redirect its path down. And it is coming down slow enough that you can kind of control it as well. All right, very nice. I'm going to go ahead and manually take off this time. All right, really, really nice, guys. Let's check out the flips. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, it looks like it doesn't do forward and rear flips. It just does side flips. So it just does rolls. All right, some of the quadcopters do that. And I guess this one does that. Remember, that flip button is a emergency stop switch as well. So don't hold down that flip button. Just short press it and do the direction of the flip you want, left or right. All right, so let's go and check out the headless mode here. Bringing it back. Okay, headless mode. Going forward and pulling it back. While in a spin now, forward. And I'm pulling it back. And kind of going to the left and going to the right. All right, so the headless mode works pretty good. And I am out of the headless mode. All right, so let's hit the one key return. Long pressing the same button. And I think it's got the heading kind of mixed up. So I'm gonna long press the button again and then bring it in. And it is kind of slow coming back in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and land it and recalibrate it. So it lost its heading calibration while it was spinning around. So let me go ahead and place it right here, pointing that way, and both sticks to the bottom and to the right. All right, speed number three. Manually taking off. Okay, headless mode. Forward, in a spin, coming back in a spin, forward in a spin, oh yeah. Going to the left and going to the right in a full yaw spin. So the headless mode works great, but it did lose its headless mode bearing the first time around, so I had to recalibrate. So hitting that button again, short pressing it, will get you out of the headless mode. And now let's do a one key return. Long pressing the same button, and it is on its way back. So redirecting it with the pitch and roll stick will get you out of the one key return. And let's see if long holding that same button will get you out as well. Yes, it will get you out as well. All right, so far so good. It is a sweet flyer, this one. So once again, I calibrated it. So it is kind of drifting a little bit that way. So I need to trim it and just a little bit to maintain 
a position hold because there's no breeze at all. All right, so let's go and check out the FPV capabilities here. And we are facing forward, so let's go forward. And there's a slight bit of a break up there. Let me go up in altitude a little bit so we get better reception and I get a better view of where I'm going. There's the 100 meter bush and I can see the quadcopter way over there. And I kind of lost video. Oh, I went in and out and I got video back and I'm right above the 100 meter bush. So the Wi-Fi ooh, video feed breaks up slightly before 100 meters, but I got video going in and out. Let me see if I yaw a little bit. Nope. I got frozen in time video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit that one, uh, one key to return button to go into the headless mode, just a single press, and then I'm gonna pull it back towards myself. Hopefully we are coming back. And it looks like we are coming back. Quadcopter is getting bigger. So once you lose connection with your Wi-Fi FPV feed, you can go and hit the one key to return button or the headless mode button, just a single press and just pull it back towards yourself as long as it is northbound and you wanna pull it back southbound. All right, there's a little wobble there. And so let me stick relatively close to myself and do some FPV. There I am. circling around myself and passing by myself. Oh yeah, this thing is nice. It's a little jerky, so I'm gonna go down in speed to speed number two and check it out in speed number two. Oh, excellent. Oh, look at that. I can spin around on an object with this quadcopter with Wi-Fi FPV. Too bad the distance is limited to within 100 meters but it is looking pretty nice and we do have some breakups there but if you are close enough you can finally control it oh yeah this thing is pretty nice Pretty deep pitch in speed number two as well. So even speed number one, one beep is nicer. So you still maintain a horizon view of where you're going in speed number one. And look at how smooth it's flying in speed number one. I'm forward pitching all the way and just yawing right above me. going away from me oh this is a nice Wi-Fi FPV okay turning around oh I lost video there let me stop and yaw a little bit and there I am coming straight towards me a Wi-Fi repeater would be very beneficial to this quadcopter because we got great controls as long as we have a better Wi-Fi video feed and you are able to go a decent amount of distance with this one but immediate area you are able to FPV very nicely Wow I'm impressed this is a good flying quadcopter guys and we've been flying for a while already and there you go There's a little flip on the fly, <laughs> a barrel roll sort of, but it kind of stops first before it performs it. Oh yeah, very nice. And there I am again. I'm gonna do a little low level speed pass, I guess. There you go. Yep. I am completely looking at the iPad video screen.
Look at that. This is awesome, man. Very nice. Now this one I can fully recommend here. Because this is fun. I'm having fun actually. Yeah. Not very much Wi-Fi FPV quadcopters. I can come that close to myself and still maintain a good control. And we've been recording video for over 11 minutes going into the 12 minute mark right now. And I'm still flying. So very good flight time as well. All right, I'm gonna go to speed number two and cruise around because this is fun. Speed number three, line of sight now and do some speed passes. And I see that the LED lights looking like eyes are flashing. Yeah, it is flashing. So it is time to land soon. There you go, flashing, and you are able to see it very clearly. I'm gonna go to speed number two and just kind of cruise close to where I am. Okay, let it hover right there. I'm gonna stop my video, so just in case battery dies off and it does not save my video. I still have my on-screen recording here. Look at that. Sweet flight time. A very good looking quadcopter. And it flies really nicely. Good behavior. There's no interference with the 2.4 gigahertz frequency here with the phone app and the hard remote and I'm still able to fly this thing even in low voltage very nice quadcopter indeed and look at how smooth it's flying man and you can finally control this quadcopter's flight that's the best thing about it. Look at that, making a smooth turn. Oh, there's a little jerkiness there. I think maybe the, uh, the battery is kind of getting depleted and getting a little sluggish. So I'm going to go ahead and bring it directly in front of me and it is going to land itself. There you go. And come to a hop and a skip and it has killed its motors. All right, there you go, guys. My demo flight of the Eqing E511. All right, here we go once again. And this time what I did was just connect the quadcopter to the Wi-Fi phone app and I ditched the hard remote. So we're gonna try and fly this thing with the phone app solo. So let's go and check it out here. We can turn on and off the virtual sticks and we got the one kilo takeoff, one kilo land, emergency stop, and what is this? Uh, we even have a voice control here and we got some more features on the settings here so let's go ahead and calibrate the gyros here so let's go ahead and hit this gyro calibrate icon and there you go gyro is calibrating and it is done so so we are able to go 30 percent in speed 60 percent 100 percent we're, we're going to start off with 100 percent and check it out and go down from there so let's go ahead and check it out one kilo take off and there you go Woohoo! let me go up in altitude a little bit and looks like even in the wi-fi phone app it has a slight drift backwards so i'm gonna see if i can trim the quadcopter using the sidebar here okay let me go forward and bring it in here yeah you are able to fly this thing with the virtual sticks very nicely even in 100 percent 
Okay, so which way is it drifting here? So I'm doing trim with the side bars and the bottom bars going to the left. going forward and now using the virtual stick to fly it. Okay, so we are in 100% rate here and it feels like speed number three. Yep, and we are able to fly it with the Wi-Fi phone app. Okay, slight over rotation. Oh yeah. You can even finally control this thing with the virtual sticks as well. Oh yeah. Uh oh. It just came crashing down, guys. <laughs> oh no. That's not good. But let's see what the damage is. And check it out. One of the arms folded in. The other arm folded in too. So that's what I like about these foldable quadcopters that doesn't lock into place. Instead of breaking where the hinge are and compromising your quadcopter, it folds in and it saves your quadcopter. All right, let's take it back to the table and see if we can reconnect. Somehow I got disconnected or something. <sighs> oh. Okay, I brought it back to the table, so wiped off the battle scars, and we are good to go once again. And looks like we are still connected here, so I'm going to go ahead and recalibrate the gyros since it got into a crash. So be careful using the Wi-Fi phone app. It just suddenly disconnected here. So what I'm going to also do is I'm screen recording. I'm just going to use the screen recording. I'm not even going to bother with the photo and video icon. So let's go ahead and check it out one more time. Okay. It is still flying. All right. So you don't want to go too far. If there's a slight disconnect, it will just fall right to the ground. But it did reconnect. So that is a good thing. All right. So what I want to do is check out the gyro mode and fly it with a tilting action of your phone or your device in my case the iPad look at that going forward coming back yeah it is working really nicely and at 100% it's got good controls here oh yeah very nice don't go too far <laughs> Oh yeah, so the gyro mode works really nice on this quadcopter as well. All right, let me get out of the gyro mode. And I saw virtual, oops, excuse me. Oh, I got to take that call. All right, here we go. We are back up in the air. I had to take that phone call. Sorry about that. I'm going to hit the flight planner here. And here I can draw a line and the quadcopter will fly in the direction of that drawn line. So I can draw a circle and it will go in a circle as well. And that is working pretty good too. Going to the right, going to the right, and going forward. There you go. If you want to continue going forward, just draw multiple lines and it will continue on its path. All right, that's working pretty good. Okay, let me get out of the flight planner here and check out the voice control. Forward. Backward. Right side. Forward. Backward. It went forward. Oops. Backward. Right side. Left side. It's working pretty good. Forward. Backward. Right side. Forward. All right. Voice control works good. Let me get out of the voice control. And 
bring it back with the virtual stick. So there you go, guys. The phone app control of the Ichin E511. Looking pretty good. And also, I'm going to start recording now. And the reason why I wanted to record once again is because I have removed the SD card. So now I am taking a video and recording it directly into the phone app without the micro SD card. So let's check out the quality of that. So I'm gonna go and go down to 30% speed and just kind of cruise. There you go. Like a little victory lap. Very nice quadcopter. Both with the hard remote and the Wi-Fi phone app. Uh -oh. Phone call again. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and bring it down for a landing. I think that will conclude my review of the Ichin E511. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. Have a great day and we'll see you again next time.